Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the wonderful Best of Both Worlds series, though I say so myself. Thank you ever so very much for joining me. Today, we are going to begin the Battle of Britain. The convoy raiding, you should be convoy raiding. The convoy raiding program is going well so far. We could do with a few more super heavy battleships, maybe off the African coast. The enemy air power there is causing some problems. Probably flying out of uh, Madeira in the Azores. Yes, Madeira... No, Madeira is not actually hostile to us. The Azores doesn't have an air base. So where are they flying their air power to here from? I guess must be Sub-Saharan Africa. Well, I have no intention of a Sub-Saharan campaign, so I don't suppose we're going to uh, fight them there very much. Um, but we will be able to do some damage from the air ourselves, and as our radar coverage increases over the area, we'll find more and more of their convoys moving through that region. Our second carrier force is, is doing some sterling work convoy raiding just here yes i said sterling again and uh i think probably ready to return to home and uh, head back to sealand meanwhile the main fleet vastly swelling in number as the uh, many many destroyers get created can i think also return home to Schleswig holstein for its next deployment uh, anything else we really need to be doing right now? I think, uh, the tanks can come down and get ready, get, you know, just get into position. Ready for a, uh, formal planning of the battle for Britain. You guys, where are these tanks? They're down here training? Okay, well, those of you that have trained, hop over into Guderian's camp. And those of you that haven't... Hop into his. Good. Manstein, you should be in the second position. Manstein, let's have your men over here as well. Uh, continue training, but just come down here. And then any f extra tanks that we deploy can go directly into... Um, into... not Rommel. Manstein's training camp here. He'll show them what's what. These guys can resume their posts, defending the coasts. <laughs> that wasn't intentional, I swear. Um, like so. Good. Uh, Trondheim should fall with no particular difficulty. Yes, indeed. You guys can now be given your true orders. Okay, and the final resistance in Scandinavia ends. Finland has taken for themselves this northern state and will not give it to us unless we make concessions to them in other regions, which I'd rather not do. So I think we'll content ourselves with that. Albania is going to be our secondary source of aluminium. Excellent. Okay. In the north, I will leave one army. Karl here is a mountaineer expert and will be put to work defending the long, long coastline of Norway. His men will also train to be at peak performance. We are low on manpower and no further manpower is mobilizing so it's very tempting to go to all adult serve which will reduce our output of course but the dramatic increase in manpower seems very appealing to me. A new naval slot as our next carrier comes out so give me a lowdown on the current carrier situation. Who is currently not deploying to the main fleet? No one. Good. So the main fleet. We've got two level 3 carriers there. One level 3 carrier here. We actually have some level 2 carriers in the main fleet. And you're just level 2 carriers. Okay. So both of you can merge up with the, uh, the main fleet. And then the main fleet. Which of your carriers is going to get relegated. Is it the Peter Strasser or the Potsdam? Well, the Peter Strasser has killed twice as many ships, including some battleships. Nice. The Potsdam, also an impressive kill count, but just not quite as good. Only, only two battleship kills to its name, where, where the, uh, the Peter Strasser can boast three. So... Sam, you are going to be relegated to the carrier reserve force, which can 
they can go and merge up with. Excellent. Oh, excuse me. There was still a Swedish destroyer. Right, so um, we should really invade Bornholm and Gotland. Just for the sake of completeness here. Let's give me some uh, some Italian 20 wits, sure. Get this done. And then you can return to your posts. I should probably launch a joint offensive against Gotland, just to make sure, in case they have too many men on the port. Uh, any ongoing construction up here? Not in the way of uh, radars, no, good. I would like some more infrastructure in these resource-heavy regions. Aluminium especially, very, very valuable. I think nine steel would be pushing it a little. Okay, so the new main fleet now equipped almost completely with level three carriers. The Mediterranean fleet, of course, equipped, equipped completely with level three carriers, is now going to begin its long and slightly perilous trip north. Or actually, is it? Perhaps not. No, the Mediterranean fleet is going to uh, endeavor to raid the African coast. There's lots of convoys traveling through the African coast. We know this. Um, we have not been raiding them thus far because of the allied air power in the region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specialize this fleet. I was going to give them almost all fighters. They already have almost all fighters. Magnificent. We will give them some air aces. Not, uh, not that one, preferably. Uh, because we want them to be in perfect fighting shape. There we go. Now you guys, go ahead and raid the African coast for me. Excellent. Plenty of XP to be had in uh, in convoy raiding for the carriers. Lots and lots of kills, lots and lots of sorties taking place. So that should be good. We'll see how heavy their air casualties are. If indeed they take heavy air casualties, which they may well not. Um, we could also convoy escort here, given that there are some enemy subs in the region. I'm in the wrong zone. Uh... You know what? Let's just send the light cruisers onto convoy escort while the main fleet remains on this. A couple of light cruisers should be sufficient, I think, to uh, bring down these French subs. Let's find out, though. There we go. There is our 150 political points. Let's think carefully about what we take here. Obviously. Uh, bomber interception. Interception, attack, interception, defense, agility would have been useful earlier. Now, maybe close air support. Naval AA attack. I do think decisive battle, just to give that extra attack and defense on our uh, our capital ship, seems very valuable to me right now. None of these seem especially useful. That one obviously being the, being the best, but we're not going to convert factories. Could also get an all-weather expert. They are useful. Unfortunately, we can't get Goring because he's been uh, executed like the Nazi scum he is. So maybe, maybe bad weather penalty. Come rain or shine, our bombs shall fall on southern Britain nonetheless. Yes, please. There were, there were good op many good options there, but I don't regret that choice yet. I haven't read the comments yet, though, so let's get <laughs> some more... Super heavies, please. Straight to the main fleet. Actually, you know what? You can deploy to the med fleet. And it's going to be remain called the med fleet so we remember its history, even though it's not right now in the Mediterranean. And sure, one of these guys can deploy to the med fleet as well. And some of these destroyers as well. I don't know how well my idea of putting lots of destroyers in to add overall AA to the fleet. I don't know how well that will work. Um, but you know what? We'll find out. And we don't really need to learn too much how the naval system works before Man the Guns, because obviously we'll just have to relearn it all when Man the Guns comes out. So two light cruisers, nine subs. What do you reckon? Oh, hello. Also, my whole fleet. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> bye bye, subs. There goes five subs. Exquisite. Already more free dockyards. Goodness gracious me. Are we building them already? We are. Uh, and we're building a lot of them. Many, many, many dockyards. My navy will block out the sun. Turn the Black Sea 
into a polluted <laughs> mess of naval dockyards. Excellent. North Af Northern Africa? Yes. All the naval dockyards. All the naval dockyards everywhere. Except in Italian land, obviously. Good. Once these are finished, we'll switch off construction engineering. Maybe onto air production. Maybe onto naval production. Maybe onto nothing at all. Um, because we might want the political power more than anything else. We do only gain 0.1 right now. Occupation is rather expensive, of course. The vast majority of that expense coming from free France. I don't want to lower this, though. I don't want to lose out on 20% of the French factories. I think that would be a shame. Uh, these guys training up nicely. So, the guys training down here, were there not some training? You, right, they hadn't arrived yet. You've fully trained, you've fully trained and fully equipped by the looks of things. You guys can come in here. No supply issues in this region. Just gotta be careful. With, with this many tanks moving around, you can get uh, supply issues without noticing quite easily. Where do we have low supplies? Southern Norway, okay. Let's just move out a few of the less proficient uh, port defenders. Seems good. Good way to fix that. Repairing the local infrastructure probably wouldn't go amiss either. What is the bottleneck? Local infrastructure and yeah, previous infrastructure a bit. How damaged is the infrastructure in the region? Oh, very heavily. Yes. Let's let's just do a quick quick bump to that. Oh, it's already It's already quite high in the list. Sure, you know what? Let's uh, let's just do a wave of repairing for now. Like so. And uh, there are still some factories working on stuff that's helped out by construction engineering. But we'll just do a wave of repairs. That's fine. More free dockyards. Um, give me another line of uh, Prince Eugens. I don't think these are Prince Eugens, by the way. But <laughs> I'm going to keep calling them that. <laughs> Straight to the main fleet, please. Excellent. And yeah, sure. You know what? Let's just let's just do the next bit. One more of them. One more of them. Oh, one more of these, but actually not these, because we've got this stuff to buff them up. Destroy our bees, please. Okay, and we are going to add a bunch of these destroyer bees. Two, three, four, five. Just minimize all of this nonsense. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then we can set the old destroyers to one line only. Good. Uh, we will put these in their places. And then we can just do these one main fleet, one med fleet, etc. Keep it all nice and balanced. Okay. Good. Uh, you can go to... Main, med, main. One to med. Main, main, med. One to med. Sorted. Ah, not quite sorted. You need bumping there and there. Magnificent. That should keep that handled for a while. Lots of convoy raiding off Iceland is very nice. Italian tank can come and, come and help hold the Hague. Sure. You are missing a troop, good sir. Uh, is he somewhere else? Is he in a tank army by mistake? Doesn't look to be. Uh, I don't think I have a spare. I wonder where you lost a division. This army could uh, do with switching over to top quality units. We don't have the anti-air for it right now, though. Could also drill. So let's do that. I know it's not calling drilling in this game. I've been playing EU4, all right? Get off my back. <laughs> How is our radar coverage looking? Pretty darn good. Breast, one more level of upgrade. Okay. Uh, hello, Air Force. I would like... Well, actually, just briefly. Give me a massive uh, Baltic Sea superiority, please. And those guys aren't ready yet, but let's just kill anyone they dare float over the North Sea. We should be able to get excellent, excellent kill ratios over the North Sea. Actually, if they're willing to fight me over the North Sea, we could mill a bunch of their planes here. So let's do that. If they're just going to fly planes out of Gotland and Bornholm, not that Bornholm has an airbase, I think, they're going to take a lot of casualties if they're willing to just leave these guys here. So, sure. Let's, uh, let's just keep a bunch of planes there. 
You guys are not required there. And I would like you standing ready at the channel, please. How's that uh, tank bomb account going? Up to 500. Not bad. Excellent range, of course, on the tactical bombers. They can fly out of Germany and hit Scotland. Marvellous. We should uh, split these out into sensible sized wings. Good. Uh, Cass, not going to need too many Cass for the actual uh, the Battle of Britain itself. They'll obviously be coming in handy once we decide it's actually time to invade. So for now, go hang out in Prague. Cass, that's fine. Is that all my Cass? Few elsewhere. Mm, not sure where, really. Down here. Haven't taken many heavy casualties to our planes in the convoy raiding here yet, so that's a good sign. Any battleships without orders? The Gneiser now is currently without orders because he's repairing. Very fair. Very fair indeed. My cruisers are still doing good work holding off those French submarines. Excellent. Um, that's a multiplayer I'm looking forward to doing, by the way. It would be like, uh, who would it be? Britain versus the US or something? And then uh, you're both allowed to go toward the AI, but you're not allowed to ever go toward each other. Sorry, you're, not, you're allowed to go toward each other, but you can't actually invade each other. You just have to fight at sea, and you win points by like having a superiority over sea zones and stuff like that. I think that would be take a bit to set up, but I, I'm looking forward to trying that out with Adaway. I'm sure I could persuade him to, uh, to give it a go with me. Right, you guys all training as you should be. Supply and... Oh, right, the mountain armies. Are, uh, could redeploy. Oops. I've been told you can move by theatre. Or, or was it... Was what I was told that you can move field marshals if you click here. I was told you had to click... Here, and then... Wait, what? See, that's what I'm, not what I meant to do. I was told you had to click here and then here. But I don't think that's right. Um, yeah, weird. Anyway, where are my, uh, my mountaineers? Come. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. You click on the top bar. Okay, okay, okay. So, mountaineers. Um, I don't really have a mountain fight for you, except, uh, except India. So, I think that is where they shall go. We could do with a mountain field marshal. Let's see if we can train Klug for that purpose. Purple Mountaineers? No, white Mountaineers. Sounds good to me. And you guys can also go white, please. And we'll want you in the Eastern Theatre. Uh, not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do either. Oops. To the East. Under a different Field Marshal. There we go. Good. And then we will deploy them uh, probably Burma. I don't like pushing through this front. I think we'll just we'll just maintain static front there. Oh, here's an extra guy. You can go in this army. And we will just switch him to the newest template. I know we don't have the equipment necessarily to do it right away, but that's okay. So, you guys. Uh, step one. You're going to go to Moscow. Uh, no, never use Field Marshal fallback lines. You're going to go to Moscow. Oh, goodness gracious. Stop deleting the army. <laughs> okay, you to Moscow, and you to next to Moscow. And then I'd like you all to train. And once they're fully trained, we will deploy them east. And we will uh, take over this region. China getting rather, rather large over here. Uh, I wouldn't mind personal control over these states. China, would you be willing to give me personal control of this region? They would indeed. Thank you very much. And uh, then a little bit of a... Good lord! I've been wasting so much equipment. Oh my god. That uh, hurts my soul to discover. Alright. Oh, they've got an active battle plan! <laughs> oh my god. We've been focusing rather hard in the west. Give me a fallback. Like this. 
You can man the fallback. The supply is devastatingly bad and not likely to improve. Uh, because Yunnan, of course, is not going to be able to repair this region. And they don't fully control the state, so I can't take the state from them. How best to handle this? Perhaps the correct response is to fall back and invade from here. That is what I'm going to do. Whether or not that is the correct response, I leave to your discretion. I'm going to fall back to Vietnam. And here. And here. Like so. This seems good. There we go. Well, they got very experienced, but as they reinforce, their experience is going to tank. Uh, and we have too many men here, just overall. Uh, you guys certainly are not really required. Let's... What kind of army is this? The same kind. Let's combine these two fronts under Bok. Like so. And then Hoth. Hoth, are you commanding this section as well? Hoth, where are your additional men? Yes, Hoth is responsible for this area as well. Well, Hoth, I'll give you some... Uh, some more reserves on that region. That seems fine. Obviously, we'll take some casualties during this retreat, but that's not a not a disaster. And the Chinese maybe. Oh, hello! Didn't notice that. Hoth, I have a new plan. <laughs> All these guys prepare to re repel naval invasion, and we do need to, I suppose, garrison the uh, the Chinese ports. Will take up quite a few guys. Ah, oh, yes, I had men ready to do that, and then I didn't. Whoops. <laughs> no matter. We can do it now. Uh, we're losing lots of convoys over in the east, but I'm not deploying an eastern navy, at least not yet. Uh, half of box men as well. Let's deploy directly to the coastline and beeline towards their uh, their supplies. Seems good. Okay, Eastern Front stabilized. Let's actually do what I've been teasing you with for so very long and begin a fully fledged battle for Britain. We will not need transport planes either. These guys we will most definitely require, but not closer than that. We will, I think, strike directly at Southern England. There will be no pussyfooting around and... Uh, or anything like that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna fight over the channel. We're gonna go directly for England. I've got a lot of fighters to deploy. Okay, another two hundred there. Let's bring it down to actually two hundred. Can't split it till it arrives. All in range. Naval bombers acting basically as a distraction over the channel, I think, wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be a miss. Let's see if we can bait out their uh, fighter forces to deploy against that, so that the first few days of our glorious runway catering campaign could be unopposed over southern England. We will keep token forces over, uh, you know, in anti-bombing campaigns, but. Uh, they aren't the true thrust of our force. Are you guys ready for that invasion yet? Yes. Good. Bring out the main fleet to assist. And we should have them handled in no time. And then I can bring across these fighters as well. Did they keep their air power in this region? They did not. So actually, I'll bring them over right away. From The Hague straight to Southern England. Do not fly missions over Southern England. Okay. Massive air power. Massing. <laughs> In the region. Will my cast be enough to let us win this naval invasion? My guess is yes. But we're not going to find out because I'm going to support from beneath, below as well. There we go. Bornholm Falls. Minimal resistance. Forcing the Swedish Navy, part of the Swedish Navy, out. There's the victory. Switch to search and destroy. Annihilate that remain what remains of the Swedish Navy. The Italians. Veterans of naval invasion at this point. He's getting the uh, the invader trait. <laughs> um, honestly, you know what, Italians? Just go make Switzerland feel the heat a bit. That seems fun. 
Good. We will need to uh, put some military police in this region. If I had to guess. I can't remember if Gotland is a state in and of itself. But let's just put some there anyway. I know Bornholm isn't. More naval battles. Good. There lies most of the French fleet, probably. How many ships do you have left, France? Zero. Those were the final French ships. Nice. They still have a lot of planes, but no more uh, no more ships. Exquisite. Ah, yes. Military policing Saigon is going to be a concern. Um, <laughs> not sure, really, how we're going to deal with that one. I'll probably just hope the port garrisons are sufficient, which they probably will be, honestly, once we actually establish them. If you could drive them back just a little here. Oh, God, they have modern tanks. The US has modern tanks. That's a little worrying. If we could drive them back one tile there, that would be much nicer border. Okay. So, Battle of Britain. Give me those planes. I want all the fighters I can muster. I need another five fighter wings here. Two. Three. Four, five. It's going to cost a very large amount of manpower to do this. Did I raise the manpower law? No, I did this instead. Probably should have raised the manpower law in hindsight. Oh well. More resistance to occupation. In Malta. Right. Totally forgot about Malta being a state in and of itself. I need two guys down there, please. Marvellous. Naval battle up here. Remains of the fleet. The Junker Jua 88. J-U-88, excuse me. Complete. Excellent. Let's switch over from the bane of the RAF to these guys. Got a bit of air experience, so we can once again max out the bombing. Sounds good. They were the bane of the RAF. What are these guys? The death of the RAF. Inventive, I know. Good. Southern aluminium shortage and oil shortage. Good lord. Been a while since we had an oil shortage. We got, uh, we've maxed out infrastructure in Baku, I suppose. Yes, but not here. Should do that. Anywhere else? Right, we're still on construction repair, even though we're not building any, uh, anything. We could go to naval production or air production, but I think we should go to nothing um, in order to get the political power needed. Next invention. Uh, strat bombers wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, long range strategic bombing to destroy American ports and things could be useful. Better naval bombers certainly wouldn't go amiss. Better carrier fighters. Yeah, 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 yeah. That should be a priority, I think. Okay, no more enemy na ships, which means our fleet can return happily to port knowing its job is well done. Good. Convoy raiding continues across the globe. Glorious. So, Britain. Britain, Britain, Britain. I have a surprise for you. The surprise is I have a ridiculous number of planes. Just a truly ungodly number of them ready to deploy over you. I think you should surrender, honestly. Is that enough? No, two more. Go over here. And uh, I know you won't surrender, because you're an AI, and they literally never do that until you force them to. But you really, really, really should consider the, consider it. <laughs> We're going to deploy... Oh my god. About 5,000. More. More than 5,000, because these guys haven't deployed yet, so aren't... Uh, Aren't 100 per wing. Little Luxembourg. I mean, <laughs> at some point, you'd think they'd join the Axis. <laughs> if I'm being real. Alright, you... Short garrison here. Plenty of convoy raiding here. We could start raiding this region as well. Do I have any... Uh... I do have super heavy, right? In my... Uh... My Mediterranean fleet? Yeah. Let's split off the Bismarck. He can go and convoy raid the Iberian coast. 
And honestly, main fleet, let's let's go for gold, shall we? Let's convoy raid the Western approaches with the main fleet and see if they have an answer to it. Their answer is likely to be overwhelming air power. But if they put overwhelming air power over the Western approaches, guess what I'm going to do to London? Right now, we have superiority over Southern England. That's embarrassing. <laughs> There's a lot of allied planes flying out, but as of now, <laughs> there are some Russian planes keeping control over southern England. That is excellent. Give me more fighters. I think we have sufficient numbers now to begin in earnest, ready to take on whatever the allies throw at us. Give it to me, baby. Six hundred. Six thousand even. And seven hundred planes. That is a thing of absolute beauty. Deploying over southern England. Watch their fighters melt. Our fighters lost versus enemy fighters lost. We'll track it. 98.1% air superiority. Bring down the hammer with maximum ace count i want to see every available ace pilot in the empire deployed and ready their targets planned extensively beforehand the glorious bomber wing of the kriegsmarine deployed over southern england with one mission destroy them <laughs> More specifically, destroy their air bases. There we go. Casualties beginning to tick. We'll see as time goes on. These numbers update. I would like some more bombers, please. Do, 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 do. There's almost another wing. Bomb their runways. And we will also, in fact, hit Northern England simultaneously. And not only Northern England, but also Scotland. Simultaneously hit all parts of the British Isles, including Ireland. And we will bomb them in the fields. We will bomb them on the beaches. And we shall never stop bombing them until they surrender. Bomb Ireland as well. Once you relocate here, you should be able to reach. No? Oh, this is the, uh, these are the old ones. We'll fly them from here, then. Once we've destroyed their uh, air bases, they'll have essentially no, no chance, no way of resisting, because they won't be able to get any mission efficiency because they'll always be overstacked. Are you still... How can you still not be over here? Oh, because he's deploying, right? There we go. Okay. And uh, we should have good visibility over England now. So I think I should be able to see when these get damaged. Hey, that one's damaged. How's my radar coverage? It's pretty good in the south. We need the uh, next tier of radar, honestly. Would be would be helpful. Could also grab some encryption, but let's grab some better radar. Okay, and here we are. The main fleet deploying over here. The enemy air force is deciding this is the place. This is where we must deploy. <laughs> we'll leave a poultry force over Ireland. The rest can operate there and defend our ships. I'd really rather not lose a bunch of ships to Allied air power over the eastern approaches. Also, still bombing them over the channel. Easy win there. Nice. Large ships at low strength already. My god. What? The Admiral Hipper already took huge hits. I think we stay the course. We do stay the course, but... We should uh, adjust the air wings to be much more, uh, much more fighter heavy, so that they can resist the uh, Allied bombers a little more successfully. Seems wise to me. We will have nice mixed on there. You can get an extra. Oh, he was undersized anyway? No, no, he was... Alright, I see. 
I understand. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And as the day ticks, they'll reinforce. Might want to pull them out just for a second. While they do that reinforce. On the next daily tick, they should get all their wings replenished. If we actually have carrier fighters for them, which we do not. Oh god, okay, never mind. Main fleet, <laughs> return home. Uh, return home without going via any of these nasty, dangerous locations. <laughs> we will continue fighting them over the sea, however. We'll just do it from the air. You can fly from here as well. There we go. Good. Excellent. We can also deploy the cast actually, to uh, fight them at sea from Norway. Nice. We could even deploy the cast to port strike the UK. That could be good. Mm, yeah, we should do that. Bunch of cast. Give me some massive port strike waves on England, please. They have a big port in the north as well. So we'll see if we can base somewhere that has range on that. Uh, not really. Oh, my uh, slightly over-deployed onto uh, off southern England, rather. Want to maintain that easy superiority there. So how are the casualties looking? Regaining superiority as our mission efficiency ticks up. Good. Port strike north? No. Uh, maybe from here? No. Nowhere to port strike Scotland from. That's unfortunate. Oh, hello. American fleet. They think they've caught us. We actually caught them. <laughs> Come at me if you dare, Americans. It will not be good for you. Excellent! Battle for Britain begun and won pretty much instantly. Um, let's see if we can get some good casualty numbers. I don't know why it's not... Oh, there we go. Okay. We're losing uh, approximately the same rate. They're losing them slightly faster here and here. Good. They're fighting us in several locations. We're maintaining air superiority. And they're taking heavy casualties. Good. So we should start to see the RAF dwindle into non-existence, which will be marvelous. Any inactive ships? Yes. What are you up to? Hmm. Never merged you into the Mediterranean fleet, eh? Well, let's have you... Excuse me. Let's have you over there, please. Thank you. Ah, some, some, there are some US subs here. Interesting. It looks like the Italians have got the situation under control, though, so I'll let them do that. They've got some enemy ships in the Mid-Atlantic Gap. This guy is still present, though. Getting loads of experience on these guys. None on... No fights in the Mid-Atlantic? Oh, well, one, actually, but not many. Hmm. Wonder why. You present right now, guys, now? Yes. Find those guys. Bring them down. Okay, well, I could call it a part here. Oh, hello. Subject may soon raise its autonomy. Hungary, just because I'm importing such a massive amount of chromium from you. Sorry, uh, aluminium from you. Um, there's not much I can do about that. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> Hungary. So the way this works in my headcanon is uh, we're going to stop Hungary becoming independent by building a huge network of... Uh, forts across their land. And the reason this works is because the forts are actually controlled by us. <laughs> They're just, uh, we're just saying, we're just going to protect you, Hungary, with this huge fort wall. But actually the forts are staffed by German troops designed to keep their autonomy low. <laughs> going for repairs, please, main fleet. A little bit of resistance over here, yeah. These guys obviously clearing out. They didn't invade with anything like the number of that would be required for a proper Naval invasion. A proper sustained naval invasion, that is. A few garrisons there. Good. No real threat to our uh, Chinese theatre then. You guys having fallen back in better supply shape? Better. Not perfect, but better. I could also upgrade you to logistics. They would need more manpower than is available, but that's fine. 
because they are so improved, the supply situation in the region. Didn't manage to take this tile. Try again. I know these kind of try again into the mountains are how you lose most of your manpower, but <laughs> that's okay. You guys, yeah, actually don't, don't try again. You guys can um, just fall back. If they take this whole region, I'll be very surprised, but if they do take this whole region, we can push back into it. Uh, it's not worth fighting in a terrible supply zone like that. Let's just do this. Good. Take those two out. How goes the Mountaineer training? Getting up there. Nice. I'm looking forward to them being ready for their uh, push through the Himalayas here. No one will expect the sneak attack on Delhi straight through the Himalayas. Look at all that convoy rating. Let's close it so we can get an impression of what it's like in this period rather than just over the last little bit. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the glorious commencement of the Battle of Britain. There appear to be no ships over here, so this uh, hitting their ships here doesn't appear to be, you know, finding many targets, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, it looks like we're almost ready now for a, uh, a massive invasion of Britain. I think we will plan that in the next episode. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.